hello and welcome back to my channel in this video we are going to discuss the last three questions from feb march 2021 cambridge as and a level mathematics and it is paper six that is probability and statistics two we have already discussed the first three questions in the previous video so let's discuss the fourth question on average one in 400 microchips made at a certain factory are faulty the number of faulty microchips in a random sample of 1000 is denoted by x. So first part is the state, state the distribution of x giving the values of any parameters. So here uh, we can see the number of trials are fixed. We can take the number of sample as a number of trials and each time this is going there are going to be fixed outcomes either it is faulty or not faulty so we can uh, we can say that this distribution is a binomial distribution so we'll write this as a binomial and we know the binomial uh, in binomial we have the two parameters n and the p number of trials and success probability and here the number of trials we can take as the number of samples that is going to be thousand and success probability is going to be one over 400 because it says that one out of 400 chips microchips uh, are faulty so it is going to be success probability so these are the two parameters and b part is state and approximating distribution for x giving the values of any parameters so we know we can approximate binomial by either poisson or normal so in both the cases we need to check for n and that is the mean and here n is 1000 and p is 1 over 400 that is 10 over 4 that is 2.5 now we will decide from here if this is since this is less than 5 so we can approximate this distribution by Poisson and in the case when it is going to be more than 5 then we will check for the n q as well and in that case if NP and NQ both are greater than 5 then we approximate this distribution by normal so this is going to be lambda NP and here lambda is NP that is 2.5 and that's the parameter for Poisson so we can write X as approximately as Poisson and the parameter is 2.5 and that's the answer and here's the C part use this approximating distribution to find each of the following first is probability of x greater than uh, sorry x equals 4 and since this from the previous part we have seen the approximation was Poisson with the lambda 2.55 so we know the probability for x equals 4 or any probability x equals r this is going to this is defined as e to the power minus lambda that is e to the power minus 2.5 times lambda to the power r and here r is 4 upon 4 factorial so it is going to be e to the power minus 2.5 multiplied by 2.5 to the power 4 over 4 factorial so we'll calculate this from calculator and this value is coming 0 0.1336 and so on so we'll write our answer till three three significant figure and it is going to be probability of x equals 4 is 0 0.134 because the next number is 6 more than 5. So uh, that's it. Let's discuss the second part probability of x between 2 and 4 uh, including 2 and 4 as well. So this is going to be either probability of x equals 2 plus probability of x equals 3 plus probability of x equals 4 so we will calculate by this formula and here we are going to write it e to the power minus 2.5 common because every way it is going to be there and lambda to the power uh, r is going to change so here it would be 2.5 to the power 2 upon 2 factorial plus 2.5 to the power 3 upon 3 factorial and plus e to the power uh, sorry 2.5 2.5 to the power 4 upon 4 factorial and now we will calculate this 
and this value from calculator we are getting it as 0 0.60388 and so on so till three significant figure we can write it as 0 0.604 and that's the probability of x between 2 and 4 including the boundary points uh, we need to actually we could have written the values of this individually till let's say four decimal places but that's fine we have written the last answer and here's the d part use a suitable approximating distribution to find the probability that in a random sample of 700 microchips there will be at least one faulty one so again we need to use the suitable approximation earlier the n was thousand here the n is 700 so we need to check it again again so we need to check it again again that is n times p uh, n is 700 p is same 1 over 400 so n p is going to be 700 over 400 and 7 7 by 7 by 4 is 1.75 so it is going to be same because it is less than 5 so it is again uh, Poisson but here this NP is 1.75 not the previous one so it is Poisson with uh, where, uh, parameters lambda here lambda is 1.75 75 because we know uh, lambda is np so 1.75 now the question become x at least one means greater than or equals to one and we can of course solve it by uh, because it's greater than one the last value is 700 we cannot calculate from two to uh, one to 700 so the best way is we can use the complement of it one minus probability of x less than one and less than one means zero so it become one minus probability of x equals zero means in the Poisson it is e to the power minus lambda minus 1.75 and times 1.75 to the power zero upon one that is zero factorial of course and we get it by solving so this value is 0.8262 six two two and so on so till three significant figure that is the answer i hope it is clear let's discuss the next question now and here's the next question fifth one the volume in liters of juice in large and small bottles have the distributions normal distribution with parameters 5.10 and 0 0.0102 and and new normal distribution 2.51 and 0 0.0 Zero three six, respectively. A part is find the probability that the total volume of juice in three randomly chosen large bottles and four randomly chosen small bottles is less than twenty five point five liters. So in these type of questions, we have to be very careful because here we are not we are we are not we are taking the random samples three randomly chosen large bottles means the samples we are like talking about the three observations of the same random variable and here is the four observation of the same random variable that is small bottles here we are not multiplying so in this case if we take it as uh, like large and small bottles we, if we write it as uh, let's say l capital l for normally distribution normally distributed for the large bottles so it is going to be 5.10 comma 0 0.0102 and we take it as small bottle a bottle as let's say uh, s s then it is normally distributed with parameter 2.51 and 0 0.0036 so here this probability if you take this as the total volume total volume if you take it as t then we know the linear combination is going to be again a normal distribution so t is going to be sum and uh, total here and this is going to be and there are going to be four random uh, randomly chosen bottle for the large one so it is four times l plus four sorry it is three times here it is three randomly chosen bottles so it is going to be three times l 
and 4 times s and here this is going to be normally distributed again because linear combination of two normal distributions are always going to be normal. So here we have to be very careful with this mu, nu mu and sigma square and here mu is going to be 3 times that is the thing like if we have the observation of the observation of the random variable so we take it as 3 times the mean of L that is 5.10 plus 4 times mean of 2.51 and the variance that is sigma square it is it is going to be again 3 times and 4 times because it is the observation not the random variables the times so it is going to be 3 times 0 0.0102 plus 4 times 0.0036 so we will calculate this let's say so mean that is mu it is 25.34 and this is going to be 3 times v times variance 0 0.0102 plus 4 times 0 0.0036 it is coming 0 0.045 so the probability we will write it as probability of t less than 25 point less than 25.5 so by the standardized normal distribution formula we have z less than x 25.5 minus x here and x is mu that is 25.34 divided by sigma that is square root of this square root of 0 0.045 now let's calculate this so this value from calculator is 0 0.754 2 and so on so 0 0.5 0 0.754 and it is z less than so we can say that it is phi of 0 0.754 now we will solve find this value from the distribution table so this is the distribution table normal distribution function this is 0 0.7 here 5 here and 4 is this so corresponding to that we have 0 0.7734 and the addition part is 12 so this value is phi of 0 0.754 is 0 0.7734 plus 0 0.0012 so that is 6 4 4 7 here 7 here so that is 0 0.7746 so this value is 0 0.7746 or till three significant figure we can write it as 0 0.775 that's the answer i hope it is clear let's discuss the next part here's the b part find the probability that the volume of juice in a randomly chosen large bottle and is at least twice the volume of juice in a randomly chosen small bottle so we have uh, one observation here one random variable here and one random variable here and as we have written in the previous part large bottle l and small bottle uh, s so we uh, s so we can see they are asking for probability probability of l is large bottle is twice is at least twice means it is greater than or equals to or that is not an issue because it's a normal distribution continuous distribution so this should be greater than or equals to twice of the small bottle so from here we can make a random variable by taking l two times s one side so this become l minus 2s and that is again a rand, uh, normal distribution because we know the linear combination of normal distributions are always normal and so we need to calculate again the two parameters mu and variance sigma mu and sigma square so in this case let's talk about the mu here the mu is going to be 
l one time so uh, i'll write the previous one l normal distribution with 5.1 and 0 0.0102 and uh, s S was 2.51 comma 0.0036. So this become mu is going to be 1 times 5.1 minus 2 times mean of S that is 2.51 and in variance in variance we are going to we know for variance there is no minus it is always plus so for variance it is going to be variance of l one times one square times so it is going to be one square times 0 0.0102 minus now here it would be always plus and two square times variance of s that is 0 0.0036 so let's calculate these two parameters so from calculator this value is coming 0.08 and this value is coming 0.0246 corresponding uh, correct to three significant figure so now let's calculate the probability so if we take this l minus 2 s one side our question become finding the probability of l minus 2 s greater than or equals to 0 uh, hence in the standard normal distribution it is z greater than or equals to 0 minus mean mean is 0 0.08 divide by standard deviation that is square root of variance 0 0.0246 so we will calculate it probability of z greater than or equals to this value from calculator now and this value is coming minus 0. 51006 so 0 0.51 uh, i can write 0 because the next one is again 0 6 so now we will visualize this situation because it's minus so it is always good to see how it looks like if it is normal distribution standard normal distribution so it is 0 and this is minus so it would be somewhere here let's say this point is minus, minus 0 0.510 and we require the area which is greater than this so greater than this part is this one and hence we can find the exact area if we calculate the positive corresponding to this the positive value here let's say this is 0 0.510 of course and then this area towards its left is the same area hence this can be written as finding the probability of z less than or equals to 0 0.510 and hence this value again we will calculate from calculate uh, distribution table so here is the distribution table we we need to calculate phi of 0 0.510 so it is 0 0.5 here and 1 is this so this value is 0 0.6950 so we can write this value 0 0.695 and that's the probability i hope it is clear let's discuss the next one and here is the sixth question that is the last question of this paper it is known that eight percent of adults in a certain town own a canter car after an advertising campaign a car dealer wishes to investigate whether this proportion has increased he chooses a random sample of 25 adults from the town and notes from the town and notes how many of them own a canter car a part is he finds that four out four of 25 adults own a canter car carry out a hypothesis test at 5% significance level so since we are going to uh, do the hypothesis test so we require to give the two uh, things first of all one is the null hypothesis and another is alternate hypothesis we write by h0 and h1 so we don't write it's quality here h0 here we are calculating the 
uh, whether it is the proportion has increased or not proportion means here it can, we can take uh, mean or probability population mean so initially it is given p is given the probability proportion is 0.8 percent means 0.08 so that is the null hypothesis and now after this advertising campaign it, the, he wants to the dealer wants to uh, see whether it is ha it has increased so the alternate hypothesis would be p should be greater than 0.08 now for our test we have been provided with n because we are talking about only out of 25 the p the uh, out of 25 the test value is 4 so if the probability of we can see it is binomial if it is true h0 is true then it is going to be a binomial case so uh, it's why because it is like fixed number of um, trial and every time it is there are going to be two cases only either uh, own a car or not owning a car so it is probability we take it take it as x as binomial distribution with parameter n as 25 and probability is 4 over 25 that's the proportion so we take it as if p is a probability of x greater than greater than or equals to 4 if this probability is less than because 5 percent means 0 0.05 if this is less than 0 0.05 we will reject h0 so that is how we will start our test so oh sorry it is given that this probability is given now we don't use our uh, value here it is given p is 0 0.08 so we will use this as the proportion now we will check whether it is less than 0 0.05 or not if it is less than 0 0.05 we will reject the h0 so probability of x greater than or equals to 4 means it is a binomial so probability of finding x equals uh, 4 5 and so on so we'll use the complement 1 minus probability of x greater than now uh, x is less than or equals to 3 so it become 1 minus probability of x equals 0 plus probability of x equals 1 equals 1 plus probability of x equals 2 and the last probability of x equals 3 so we will calculate by the formula and we know for binomial the formula is ncr so it is there are 25 so 25c0 25c0 and success probability to the power 0 that is 1 into failure probability to the power uh, 25 so from here we can see the q is going to be 1 minus 0 0.08 that is 0 0.92 so it is 0 0.92 to the power 25 plus 25c1 into 1 uh, sorry here it is 0 0.08 0 0.08 into into 0 0.92 to the power 24 plus 25c2 0 0.08 square multiplied by 0 0.92 to the power 23 and the last one is 25c3 0 0.08 to the power 3 and 0 0.92 to the power 20 now we will calculate so this value is coming 0 0.8 so it is 8 6 4 9 0 and so on so we will subtract it from 1 and our answer is 1 0 0.135 so so now again once we got let me scroll it up so now what we got we got probability of x greater than or equals to 4 is 0 0.135 which is not less than which is of course greater than 0 
zero five, it means we cannot reject H naught. So we should always talk about uh, the hypothesis in terms of the given condition, the cases. These cases means like if they are uh, investigating whether this is proportion and this proportion has increased or not. So we need to give our answer in this term. So from here we got that we cannot reject H naught, and so we will say that there is no enough evidence that the proportion has increased because it is like we are still accepting H naught because there is no enough evidence and hence there is we will write that there is no enough evidence that the proportion has increased. So that is the last conclusion there is no enough evidence at 5% significance level uh, that proportion has increased because we cannot reject H naught. I hope it is clear. Let us discuss the next part. B part is explain which of the error type 1 or type 2 might have been made in carrying out the test in part A. So actually what is type 1 and type 2 error we can understand from here. This is the let us say this is acceptance reason. This reason. It is acceptance reason and these two are the rejection reason these two are the rejection reason and this is acceptance reason understand from part a we can write we can see that h naught h naught was uh, ex accepted or we can say was not rejected if it is not rejected it means we are have we are in the acceptance reason if we are in acceptance reason acceptance reason it means we are going to commit some uh, error whatever is possible in this region so it is always going to be a type 2 error type 2 error because we are can understand in this way that uh, the test says that we are going to we are accepting the h naught so if we are accepting the h naught and there can be a possibility there may be a possibility that it was not true so it was not true means we uh, we had to reject it but we are still accepting it so it means in the acceptance reason we are committing any mistake that is going to be type 2 error and here is the last part later the car dealer takes another random sample of 25 adults from the town and carries out a similar hypothesis test it is similar at the 5 percent significance level C part is find the probability of a type 1 error. Type 1 error is uh, when we are rejecting H naught when it is true. So if it is true and we are rejecting it means we are finding the rejection region first of all. So the probability of rejection region is same as the type 1 error or we can say like we are, we are rejecting H naught if it is true. So we are finding the rejection regions we have already seen from the first part that the probability of x is greater than or equals to 4 it was 0.135 till 3 significant figure which is of course greater than 0 0.05 so we could not reject uh, h naught. So we will find the next value if we can get something to reject so x is greater than or equals to 5. So we will calculate this even if it is not uh, when it is not going to be less than 0 0.05 we will check for x greater than or equals to 5 and the question is how to use the previous information we can see if we if we calculate probability of x is greater than or equals to 5 and we have for x is greater than equal to 4 it is like 0 1 2 3 4 5 and so on so we want to calculate this probability this probability from here till the last but we have the probability from here to here it means we can only calculate for 5 since it is uh, continue uh, this this is discrete distribution so before 5 it is only 4 so we subtract the probability of x equals 4 then we have the required uh, probability so it is going to be probability of x is greater than or equals to 4 plus if we include uh, sorry not plus if we exclude the probability of x equals 4 then we have the information the correct 
probability so let's check it for probability of x greater than or equals to 0 it was 0 0.135 minus in the binomial case it is 25 c4 and if we see it was p was 0 0.8 uh, sorry 0 0.08 and q was 0 0.92 so 25 c4 0 0.08 to the power 4 and 0 0.92 to the power 21 so we will calculate this now 0 0.135 minus and this value is coming 0 0.08 9994 so we can write 994 also and then so on we will subtract this value uh, from 0 0.135 and we get it as 0 0.04501 which is of course less than 0 0.05 it means the rejection reason is the rejection uh, this rejection reason is x greater than or equals to 5 and hence the type 1 error probability the probability of type 1 error probability of x greater than or equals to 5 which is 0 0.045 so this was 0 0.04505 so three, three significant figure we should write our answer so, so it becomes 0 0.0451 so we can write this as because we need to write our answer till 3 significant figure so that's the uh, probability of type 1 error and that's it for this video it was the last question i hope it was of some help so let's meet again in the next video till then thank you so much